I could have sworn I hit it. Did I get it? It is an exciting time of year. I am home for a little bit, back in Kenora, and I have a week to accomplish my goal. My goal is to harvest my first whitetail. With other shoots and stuff going on, I got pretty much just the rest of the week to, to hopefully drop my first deer. So, we're doing an unboxing today, and this is something that's gonna be crucial, and that is my first rifle. Thanks to my buddy, Sean Pollock, from the Goose video, he helped me find this gun. I want something that I could shoot a deer with or a moose and he said seven mil is a good option so I said here's my budget find me something good and we got ourselves a gun this is gonna be interesting because I know nothing about how to put together a gun you think it would come assembled mmm yes we'll see you tomorrow at the range show you guys a couple more shots of the gun and uh, then I'm gonna try to put it together Welcome back to part two on the journey to my first whitetail today. We got my buddy Cole Forsyth. Say hi, Cole. Hey. Cole is a Kenora fishing guide and a very avid hunter. He's gonna help me sight in my rifle today. We're at an abandoned gravel pit and he's gonna show me how it's done. So targets are set. We're gonna range it in at 50 yards. See and can, see if you can hit it. See if I can hit it and Cole's gonna show me how to sight it in. Basically sighting is adjusting your scope. <clears throat> so the crosshairs are where you want to be. Right. No, you can explain, you can explain it. So, okay, so we're just taking a shot first, right? Yeah, we're gonna see where it's at. Now we're gonna turn a bunch of dials and see where it goes. Dials and dobs, 50, 50, 50 yards. yards. Okay, this is what we're shooting. I don't know if this is good. This is what Sean recommended. This is 162 grain. Right in the middle, 52 yards, first shot. That's got some good kick. How'd it feel? That was fun. Okay guys, I may have missed the target completely. No, what? Is, is that it? Oh. No. Right in the middle. Oh, I don't know if we even need to say it in. I think you nailed it. Oh yeah, right Instead in the middle. It. Yeah, there's two holes there. Same spot, a little Punch, low to the left. Punching nails. Wow. That is deadly accurate. That's good. Okay, sighting is done. We're going to the blind now. Our buddy Blaine has set up a spot for us um, where we did see a big old buck. Insert trail cam pictures here. That is the one we're after, but I'm not fussy. This is my first time whitetail hunting. I want to just harvest my first deer and enjoy some deer meat through the winter. So that's the plan. Guys, we're at our hunting location. I am so pumped. I just think it's gonna happen today. I'm not gonna be fussy on what walks out. If it's got antlers, it's gonna be food. It's on now. It's mating season, 
and people will bring antlers along and rattle them together to make it sound like buck to make it sound like bucks fighting, right? So Cole has this little plastic device. Give it a rattle. Day two, we're back at it. It did not happen yesterday, but today we got the man that's gonna make it happen. Blaine Zirkin, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be here all day. Oh yeah, all day. All day, um, this is Blaine's property I'm hunting. He's been very gracious to hook me up. He's like, Jay, I wanna help you get your first whitetail. So when he found out I was in Kenora, he was like, let's make this happen this fall. So here we are. Um, yesterday was more of a half day sit. We had, like I said, that one very immature buck come in. Um, not long enough antlers to uh, take a shot, but today it's gonna happen. Um, cold weather, cold, cold. Lakes are freezing. It's prime time. We got some snow falling again, and uh, it's seven, seven thirty in the morning. So we're gonna get out there and get after it. What are you thinking, Blaine? Hmm? What are you thinking? <laughs> Trying to get this into my son. <laughs> <laughs> Blaine's hammering the Timmies this morning. <laughs> Um, we saw lots of deer sign again, like right where we parked, so who knows, we might come back to the truck and there might be a buck sitting here, so I'm feeling very hopeful. I think there's going to be a buck sitting in our blind right now. Maybe in the blind, maybe sitting on my seat. Alright, we're all set up. There's a good sign at the spot last night, so hopefully this morning we get it done. Cameras are all set up. Let's go time. Yeah, man. All right, we've been sitting for about two and a half hours now. We've seen two does and two bucks. One buck we could have shot. Um, we decided to let it walk after some more discussion. I probably should have taken it, um, but I think there's a decent chance it comes back. It was a spiker. If he comes back in, I'm pulling the trigger. If it's brown, it's still Shake it back. Something moving in. We got something moving in. It might be the spiker. Oh, he's there. Just stay still. He's right behind the tree. All right, made it just in time. Well, a little bit late at the cat shelter. Hopefully Sam's not too mad. Hey, baby. I like this one. That's a big cat. I like this one. The our house? Girly, <laughs> we've, deci <laughs> we've decided to adopt you. Come here. Hey, I'm here. you're with us now. Hold her up, Sam. 
Yeah. There we go. Hi. The decision is made. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> We're gonna take you, okay? We're not sure about your name yet, though. Thank you very much. All right, yeah. All right. Hey, look what we got. We got a cat, a little pit stop from our hunting trip. We're gonna drop this cat off at Sam. So I'm thinking, if I shoot a big buck today, we'll call him Bucky. If I shoot a spiker, his name will be Spike. And if we get skunked, his name will be Skunk. It's a girl. Th those are all gender neutral names. We're not naming her Skunk. All right, back to hunting, guys. Thanks for coming along. Thanks, Sam. Bye. Back at Blaine's. Got a cat. Going back to hunt. See what Blaine's up to. Blaine cooked me some chicken fingers. <laughs> he had a nice little afternoon nap. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're back at it. Shout out to Blaine for picking up the camera and learning how to film. We are going for round two. Cat has been adopted. And uh, it's prime time. All right, Blaine, I'm putting you on the spot. Give me three tips for someone who's just getting into whitetail. Some beginner advice. And go. No one's somebody with a lot of property. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is number one. And uh, I mean, being sure you're legal is a big part of it. Um, and two, having the right equipment in order to go do those things. Whether that be clothing while you're sitting here not moving very much, or um, like Jay went and purchased a beautiful gun that was gonna get the job done. Those were all great points. Make sure you're legal. Get access to some good property. And uh, you yeah, have the right gear. Yep. All right, back to hunting. I could have sworn I hit it. Did I get it? I think so. Oh my Holy goodness. Holy we, we got We got two angles, that was insane. Guys, that spiker walked right in front of us, like 15 yards out. Did you get on that camera? Like I'm shaking right now. Yeah, I, I yeah, 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 we got on that, that camera. It jumped away. Do you think I hit, like? I think, I think you got it. I, th I think I got it. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Blaine was just like, Blaine was just like popping. And it just, it happened so fast. It was staring at us for, yeah. I don't know if we should wait, but that was close range. That was, what, 50 yards? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's sick. Guys, we waited a couple minutes and we're gonna go take a look. We read the footage and it, I think it was a clean shot. Oh, so. dude. We're doing it, let's go look. Let's go, let's go. I would say I shot it right here, because that's where I was walking. So like, show the blind. How many yards is that? 15 yards maybe. Half half of 40, 20 yards, maybe. Here it is, Jay. Oh, that's a lot of blood. That's good. That's good. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna, because it could be just, you know, groggy. It's 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 a dead deer, but you gotta make sure it's it's gonna be dead. If you chase a deer, It'll pump adrenaline through, it, like it wrecks the yeah. meat, right? And then it runs away, so. It's just gonna keep, it, it'll be cat and mouse all day. You just yeah. gotta let it do its thing. And we're just gonna walk nice and slow and quiet and go get his deer. There he is, right there. Right there. There's your deer, Jay. Where? There's your first buck. Your oh, first man. buck, dude. High five. <laughs> High five. Unreal, yes. thanks buddy. Guys, I told myself I wasn't gonna wait for a monster. I just wanted my first buck. A grocery buck is what this it is. Wow, that happens so fast. Yep. 
Oh my goodness. That's a beautiful animal. This is my first big game experience and uh, yeah, it's crazy taking a life like this. It's uh, yeah, I think I was just walking past a couple minutes ago. I'm very thankful. That is what you call a spiker right there. I, uh, I'm very happy with that. This is gonna be amazing food. It was an amazing experience. And this is gonna be the first of many whitetail hunts. There's a lot of work to do yet, but uh, this part's done. I had three days left to do it, and we made it happen. This is the end, like take it in. This is this what it's about. Yeah. It's good. I'm gonna remember this moment forever, and because I have video, but uh, all right, we're gonna get, uh, got a couple slow-mo shots of this, and then we're gonna work on bringing it out of the bush. That's the next part of this journey. I'm speechless. It's good. It's good. <laughs> There you go, Jay. Thanks, buddy. Right, buddy. We are notching my first whitetail tag. Um, thanks to Maddie and John for helping us drag this deer out. Thanks, We're boys. Tag it up first. What's today? There we go, we got a notch tag. Not the best job, but we're gonna attach it to this deer and we're gonna haul it out of the bush. Woohoo! Ready to go, Jay. Yeah. All right, the boys are now gutting the deer. I have no idea how to do that, so I'm gonna learn. So, I'm learning their ways. It is a little overwhelming right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a sight to see, but you gotta understand that you're, you know, you're harvesting this animal. It's going to a good thing. You're not just, no, I'm not being wasteful, you know? Like, the, like I, I hunt with these guys quite a bit and, you gain a respect for these animals or giving their life for, you know, the, the food that's gonna feed you over the winter and... Yeah, so what's you know? your favorite way to prepare? Uh, like back straps on the barbecue or what do you guys like? Oh, oh back straps on garlic butter, that's yeah? Good, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Learning so much about the cleaning process. I'm not gonna show too much of it, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're gutting it right now and then, and then we're gonna get into some actual cuts of, meats after, cuts of meat after that, but uh, these guys are skilled. It's, it's very impressive to watch. They've done this many times. Yeah. Guys, that was a big day. I could not have done it with these amazing people. Thanks to Johnny, thanks to Maddie, thanks to Sean for helping me pick out a rifle. And of course, thanks to Blaine. His goal this year, along with, well, partially my goal too, was to get my first whitetail. Could not have done it without these guys. Uh, I'm very excited to eat some delicious deer meat tonight. And uh, I'll probably bring you along for some cooking, but for now, that's a wrap. Until next time. Mm -hmm.